Welcome back to my kitchen and welcome to The Recipe Therapist. So with St. Patrick's Day just around the corner, I found this really good Irish soda bread recipe. It happens to be really crusty on the top and buttery. So I decided to test it out for all of you today. I think you're really gonna like it. So let's get started. All right, so let's take a look and see what goes into this crusty Irish soda bread. So today I'm gonna be using some all-purpose flour, some beaten egg, baking soda, baking powder, some salted butter, salt, granulated sugar, and some buttermilk. Now, for this crusty Irish soda bread, you can make it savory or sweet, but today I'm gonna make it sweet, so I'm gonna add some raisins to it, but feel free to use any like fresh dill or any other herb that you like to make it savory. Okay, so we're gonna start out with our dry ingredients first. So I'm gonna take my flour, and I'm gonna, I have a nice large uh, glass mixing bowl here. Make sure it's large enough to put at least four cups of flour in. And I'm gonna put my baking powder in. I have my baking soda, my salt, and my sugar. Okay, so that's all going right in. Just gonna get a little bit of my salt out. And I'm gonna add my butter. Because what we have to do, oh, first before I add my butter, I'm sorry, I'm going to mix the um, dry ingredients all together till it's nice and well and combined like this. Okay, and I'm gonna add my butter right now. Okay, my butter's right here. I'm just gonna put this in like this. Now what we have to do with this butter is we have to cut it into the dry ingredients. So I have a pastry cutter here. Uh, you can find it at like, you know, a local um, home goods store or department store. If you can't get one of these, you can use a fork and knife to cut the butter in, but I do prefer this uh, pastry uh, cutter like this. So we're basically just gonna go and take our butter and we're going to cut it into the flour like this. Now the consistency of this mixture with the butter blended in, it has to be like pea size uh, little particles in it when you're done. You'll see, I'll show you. So as you can see, there's the, those pea-like you know, particles right there. That's what it should look like. So now at this point, we're ready to add our egg. Now I'm not gonna add all my egg. I am gonna save just a little bit for the top for like an egg wash before baking. Maybe, I don't know, a quarter of it. And I'm going to add my raisins, okay? And our butter milk. Right, that's all going in like that. And what I'm gonna do at this point is I'm going to take my wooden spoon and I'm gonna begin to mix it, like fold it in together. I'm going to take a little bit of the wet and incorporate it like back and forth, like almost in throughout, like a circular uh, motion throughout the batter around the edge of the bowl. And I'm just going to incorporate the wet into the dry. I don't want to overmix it because it does make a tough bread, and you're going to see it's going to come together nicely. Okay, so I started out with my spoon like this, but I do want to demonstrate because you don't always have to do the whole thing with a spoon. You can use your hands. So at this point, I do like to use my hands, so I'm going to use my clean hands, and I'm going to work it in the rest. So I'm going to just take my hands, just in the same motion like I did with the spoon, and just work in the rest of the dough. Okay, and you're gonna see, it's gonna come together really nice. So this is what the dough looks like when it comes together. It's really nice and light and fluffy, but yet you can see it's come together really nice. So now what we have to do is we're gonna have to knead this about five or six times. So I have my little sifter here. I'm just gonna take my sifter and I'm just gonna put a little flour on the surface of my wood uh, cutting board and I'm going to just dump the dough right out on top, like that. And I'm gonna knead this, okay, like I said, about five or six times, just like this, for it to come together. And then we're gonna get ready to put it into our baking dish. So this is what the bread looks like when you're done kneading it. It looks just beautiful, doesn't it? So now I'm ready to take my bread and I'm gonna put it into my, my baking dish. So today I'm gonna to be using my 12 inch round cast iron skillet. But if you don't have a skillet, don't worry, you can use a 12 inch round glass casserole dish. So I'm gonna take my bread just like this and I'm gonna place it right in the center. I've greased my pan 
And now we're ready to put that egg wash on top that we saved. So I'm just going to take my brush and I'm just going to wash the bread just like this till I cover the whole top. All right, and this is what's gonna give us that nice shiny you know, look to the bread. And it also gives a little flavor. Okay, so I'm just gonna go around till I get it all in there good. Okay, in fact, sometimes I just use my hands um, to really spread the rest like that. And that's gonna look really good. Okay, so, and now what I have to do is I have to take my knife and I'm just gonna cut a slit in the top like that, like across and then across the top. All right, and I've preheated my oven to 350 degrees and this is gonna cook for about one hour, but you're gonna check it at about 50 minutes to see how it's doing. All right, so I'm checking my soda bread at 50 minutes and it looks great. It's nice and golden brown, but I noticed that the inside here is a little soft, so it's not quite done yet. So I'm gonna let it cook for about another 10 or 15 more minutes. Okay, so our Irish soda bread is ready. It's all done and complete. Look at it. I took it out of the oven about 15 minutes ago. It had to cook for about an hour. It's perfect, it's beautiful. I'm gonna take it out and just to show you what the bottom looks like too. You can already see how nice the top looks. But look at that bottom, okay? It comes out of the pan perfectly. And I'm gonna cut it up and I'm gonna take a taste. So I wanna show you what the inside looks like. It's such an easy bread to make too. Look at that. You can see the raisins in there. It's just absolutely delicious looking and ready for me to take this piece right here. It's still nice and warm. And I'm gonna taste it for you. I think I'll break a piece off. Look, it's still smoking. Can you get that? <laughs> see that smoke? Mm, it's so good. I really think you're gonna like this one. For the full recipe, you can go down to the description box, hit that subscribe button and that bell for notifications, and we'll see you next time. Happy St. Patrick's Day.